After the new weapons performed beyond expectations during the trials, the Royal Navy deployed its supersonic missiles. The purpose of these missiles is to safeguard the fleet's warships. During the Martlet and Sea Venom missiles last trials, Wildcat helicopters and Royal Fleet Auxiliary RFA Argus both participated. Both weapons are classified as potential anti-surface guided weapons that intend to destroy smaller boats, whilst the Sea Venom has 10 times the strength and can pierce defensive warships. During the trials, 815 Naval Air Squadron Wildcats landed and lifted off over 900 times with varied cargoes and weather. As reported by the news website, F.A. Argus traveled more than 8,000 miles across the Atlantic to check for various trial weather conditions. The longest at sea drill is currently taking place in Brazil, and HMS 4th has accompanied dozens of other aircraft and ships from various nations. 4th was among the 20 boats, 20 aircraft, and two submarines from 16 countries. According to Operations Officer Lt. William Morris, the drill gave 4th's Warfare Department a unique chance to train in ways they had never done before. Everyone, from AB to officer, learned a great deal from working with a global task force. He added that he is prepared to execute further drills at the same high standard. It occurs while the minesweeper HMS Herworth and the cruiser HMS Lancaster explore unmanned technology that the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, may deploy on the front lines of future conflicts, including drones and undersea survey vessels.